Hey there, it is June 1st, the first day of hurricane season. I'm meteorologist Peyton Malone here giving you an update on what we are tracking and uh, like clockwork, we are tracking a disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico uh, that doesn't have a whole lot of movement, but could become our first name storm of the season. So here we are on the first day, maybe already with our first name. It's currently sitting about 250 miles southeast of New Orleans, and here's the deal. It's really not moving that much. So if you're watching in Louisiana, if you're watching in Mississippi, even in Alabama or the Florida Panhandle, we're not anticipating any major issues from this just simply because it doesn't have a whole lot of movement to it right now. National Hurricane Center has bumped up the chances that this does become a depression or maybe even Tropical Storm Arlene, uh, thanks to how much it's organized through the overnight hours and this morning. Uh, what you can see here on visible satellite is uh, you could clearly see the spin. You can see some banding features ongoing. Not much is happening on the southern side right now because of dry air and shear, but we certainly have persistent showers and storms on the north, north side. So as long as those showers and storms can persist, we will probably have a depression or a tropical storm at some point uh, on your Thursday today on June 1st. What we're going to be waiting for, the National Hurricane Center sending out the hurricane hunters. They're going to get out there this afternoon, anywhere around 2 o'clock or so central time, and they'll let us know exactly what they find. But looking at this thing on satellite, I mean, if it's not there already, it is close to being our depression or maybe even tropical storm. Are lean. The uh, buoys out here have been interesting to watch. At one point earlier, we had wind gusts over 50 miles an hour. That buoy that you see there just north of our Invest 91. Uh, notice closer to the coast, not as strong of winds, but we're still seeing wind gusts 20 to 25 miles an hour. So it is going to be dangerous to be out there on a boat in the Gulf. You obviously don't want to be on the beach for rip current risk in the Florida Panhandle. But I do think we're going to miss at least the worst of this for inland. Uh, spots. When you look at radar here, uh, you can really see what's going on with this thing and uh, the spin. I'm going to turn on radar here for you uh, across the Gulf of Mexico and what we're watching. So you can see the spin there. All the big blob essentially of rain is staying well off the coast there in Florida, but that's where it's going to sit today and that's why it has that chance to wrap up into a depression. Uh, there is some wind shear at this moment. We're not seeing anything that is uh, just completely detrimental to it, but there is somewhat of some wind shear. So where's this thing headed? Well, today, that's where it's at right now, sitting just off the coast there in the Northeast Gulf. It's not going to be moving much. It's really just going to meander today. This is all the way into tonight. Notice it really doesn't move all that much. The, weak, the steering currents are fairly weak right now. Then we do expect it to start to move to the south tomorrow on Friday. Could be a depression or even tropical storm Arlene at this point. Notice it is sitting off the coast of Florida there uh, by a good bit. It's certainly not going to be extremely close, but from Fort Myers to there, a couple hundred miles to the east. At the same time, you are still getting some scattered storms over on the peninsula, but there's your core of what could be our tropical storm. As we get into Saturday, though, it starts to really feel the impacts of wind shear and dry air and move down towards Cuba. Meanwhile, in Florida, you've still just got scattered showers. So this center may never actually move into Florida, but uh, you could have some rainfall. Now, I think that's where most of the rain is going to end up being with this system. So we've got the warm waters where it's currently sitting is sitting at about 79 to 80 degrees. That is enough to support that weak uh, tropical depression or maybe a tropical storm. But as it moves to the south in plenty warm waters, the only thing that's really going to be hindering this is the wind shear and dry air. And there's a lot of wind shear and dry air over the Gulf of Mexico right now. You can see all that being imparted from the southwest. That's why you have this lopsided kind of system. That's why all the rains on the north side, you've got the wind shear and dry air coming in from the south like this. And that's going to continue for a couple more days. And actually the wind shear and dry air should intensify on Saturday. So that's why we expect it to weaken. If it does become a depression or a tropical storm, it would be probably a short lived one, less than a day and a half to two days. What is steering this thing? Why is it not moving now? And why don't we expect it to come to the North Gulf Coast up to Florida or New Orleans or anywhere in between to Mississippi to Alabama? Well, the steering currents. Currently, there is a ridge of high pressure over Mexico. This ridge of high pressure is pushing down uh, on any flow over the Gulf of Mexico. You've also got uh, not a whole lot going on on the north side of it. So whenever you look at where that low is situated, it's just kind of nestled under a ridge and it doesn't have a whole lot of winds to push it around. Now, eventually that will change. Now, what's going to start to push it down towards the south here is the fact that uh, this ridge is pushing it down. 
Now, as we get into Saturday and Sunday, notice what happened and see this weakness over here. That is a trough of low pressure over the East Coast. So that's going to act to turn this thing back up towards Florida. But by then we think it's going to be fairly weak, if really anything left of it, thanks to the shear and dry air. So that's what's going to be moving this thing over the next couple of days. We're expecting it to not move much today. It'll travel more south tomorrow and Saturday, and then eventually the wind shear and dry air should just shred this thing as it approaches northern Cuba. And then whatever's left of it, the moisture, maybe some showers and thunderstorms get pulled up uh, towards central and southern Florida by Saturday and into Sunday. So we'll see. Not expecting this to be a major event for anyone, it doesn't look like. It is fortunately going to stay out over the Gulf of Mexico, but it could be our first name storm of the season. Arlene is the first name on the list. Now, what's interesting is this year, this could end up being our second uh, storm. The first storm, it was a subtropical storm back in January. The Hurricane Center didn't tag it at that time, but they went back last month and said, well, you know what, that was a subtropical storm. And they're not going to go back and rename it since it was months ago. They just give it a retroactive subtropical storm number one. So if we get a depression, it would be tropical depression number two, since we've already had our first storm. On the flip side, if it gets a name, it would be Arlene, just because we haven't used Arlene yet. So we'll see if we have it later on. At this moment, uh, we're waiting on the hurricane hunters to fly on out there this afternoon. Once again, it is June 1st uh, and could very well easily have a depression or a storm. Of course, we will let you know. I want to thank you so much for joining us here on June 1st, the first day of hurricane season. Of course, we have all of our updates here on our YouTube page, on our website for WWLTV.com. Once again, I'm meteorologist Peyton Malone. Thanks so much for joining me.